There's a great company online called Sticker Mule. I'm gonna put a link to it in the video description below. Now, normally you'd go in and you could order stickers and labels and magnets, all sorts of neat products and get them shipped to your house. But in this video, I'm actually gonna walk through the free tools where you can make some beautiful designs completely for free. Okay, so what you're gonna do when you first log in is you're gonna see this main screen that pops up and you're gonna to go to the top under tools and you're gonna see a bunch of different tools here. And we're gonna start here at the studio and we're gonna click on that. Okay, and I really like Studio. It's pretty intuitive, although I'm gonna walk through a couple of the features here. You're gonna see at the top, you can search through designs, and you can also just go down here and see the different subgenres that they've got. Now, this is just gonna show you the top trending ones, but if you wanna see them all, there's a little See All button over here on the right. So, for example, under Logos, I could pick this one here, this fresher pressure washing. I can click Start Designing, and then it opens up in a new window and now I can simply click on something inside and move it around. I can also click on the actual text and move that around. I can resize it, I can change it. There's also a lot of different tools here on the left-hand side. So if I didn't like this logo, for example, maybe this picture is not suiting me, I can simply click the delete key, get rid of it, and then I can go over here on the left-hand side under graphics, and I could find another graphic. They've got featured graphics, and also you can search as well. So I'm gonna type in, for example, water, and click search, and I can see there's a whole bunch of different graphics here. So I could, for example, click on this wave, and I could have that come up, make it nice and big. Now if I wanna move this to the back, there's a little button here that's called arrangement, and I can click on it, and then I can say move to back. And now it's in behind, everything else. The pressure washer here, I can't really see that very well, so I'm gonna change the font color. I've just clicked it, and now here at the top, I can click the little T for text color, and I can make that a completely different color, and that looks great too. I can also stretch this out. Simply by double clicking, you go inside, and you can see now I can change the text pretty quickly. You can also align it pretty quickly as well. If I move it too far to the left or too far to the right, you'll see that it's off center. But if I move it near the middle, a vertical line will open up and that means that it's perfectly centered. This one here, I'm just gonna move up like this. I can also resize this so I can move it so it's a little bit bigger, just like that. There's also a shapes option here on the left-hand side too. If I click on shapes, I can see there's a bunch of different shapes. So I could get rid of, for example, the waves. I could punch in a triangle, for example, and I could change this completely. So if you like a font inside of one of the templates, feel free to click on it and just change it. You can pretty much change anything inside of a template. You can also change the actual size of the canvas that you're working on as well. So right at the top, you're going to see width and height, and this is in pixels. You can change this if you want to inches or millimeters. I'm just gonna leave it as pixels, and I'm gonna change this now to 2000, and we can see it instantly increases the width. If you dramatically increased it to say 3000, you can see now it's quite fat and not very tall. If you'd like to insert some new text, simply go here to the left-hand side, click on the text button, and now you've got big text, medium text, and small text. I'm gonna click on the big one. You can see there it adds in a heading. Simply double click it, and now you can type in whatever you would like in terms of text. I'll delete out the other one, simply click it, click the delete key, I can then move this to the top. There's also templates down below as well. So you could click on a template. So for example, this Good Vibes, it's already been rotated and it's already got different fonts and sizes. In addition to the graphics on the left-hand side, there's also photos as well. And these are photos that are on Unsplash. So I'm gonna show you this real quick. I'm gonna delete out my text. I'm gonna click on this NASA picture, make it nice and big. Again, I'm gonna make sure it's aligned and plumb, centered just like that. And now I can go in to my text. I can add in a heading and I could change the text font pretty quickly. You can really easily make designs very quickly inside of Studio. You can even upload your own photographs as well. There's an upload button right here. And then you can simply click the big blue upload image button and you can upload your own images and then use those in the library as well. Now, if you wanna save your design, you can just go here to the top and you can click this download button when I click that, it's gonna ask me if I wanna download a PNG, JPEG, PDF, or SVG file. So you can take your pick, and then you can just download it right to your computer. When you're all done, and you'd like to go back to the main menu, so just simply click here on the top left-hand side where the little horsey is, it says Horse and Studio. If you just click on that, it will take you back to the main page where you can look at different products, or you can look at different tools. Let's take a look at the second tool now, which is the Trace option. I'm gonna go up here to Tools, and I'm going to click on Trace. 
pretty easy to use. You just choose a file and then it will instantly remove the background. Okay, and I've uploaded a file now of a model and we can see the original result and the removed background result. It's pretty decent, especially for free. It's called trace, but really it's removing the background. To download, it's pretty easy to do. You just click the download button. You can also customize it as well. If you click customize, it basically pushes the picture into studio. And so now you could add in text or you could change the size of it, whatever you need to do. There's also an upscale feature as well. I go here to the top to tools, the third one down, I go to upscale. Pretty easy to do, I just select my file here. So I'm gonna click choose files. Now my original file was about 1280 pixels. So we can see here the upscale is complete. It took about 30 seconds and we can see the original size was 1280 by 853 pixels. And it's gone up two times now to 2560 times 1706 pixels. And now we can simply download it or we could click customize and that'll push that into studio. Now there are a couple options here that do cost money, so I'll just go over those real quick. Here at the top we've got tools. If I go to redraw upgrade images to vector graphics, this here is something where you can choose a file, but it's gonna charge you $14. Now I would recommend instead that you use Inkscape to change a PNG or a JPEG file into a vector. You can just simply trace the bitmap, and I'll put a link to that at the end of this video, how to change an image into a vector for free. I did wanna point out as well, if you'd like to purchase a product, on Sticker Mule. I'm gonna put a link in the video description below for $10 off. So if you click on the link and you were to purchase something, you'd get a $10 credit by using that link. So hopefully that helps. Highly recommend you check it out. It's free to sign up. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your design skills and have some fun doing it.